Ah, oh, man. Okay. This is a tough video to make. I, I don't even feel motivated to make this video today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is Spin to Win, NBA 2K21, the series here on my channel, episode 24. And it is uh, technically the start of a new season, but really I'm just here to, to just reminisce on the season that was. I finished it, uh, when did I post that? Monday, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it because I'm about to spoil it. But I lost in the NBA finals, man, in a heartbreaker, a 3 OT game. A lot of you guys agreed with me that it was like the best game of the year for anybody. It was insane. And it was honestly tough for me to recover from, okay? So this is gonna be a bit of a different video. So I'm gonna tell you what we're doing to start season three, how we're building our lineup. We're gonna do that all here today, but I'm not gonna play the first game yet. I'm gonna react to a bunch of comments and let you guys give me suggestions and stuff for this season. And then next episode, we'll play our first game. But we got a lot to get into, including I I I'm gonna take a look at what you guys had to say to me after that tragic loss in the NBA finals. Plot twist, Jay turned off his camera to throw his PS5 away. <laughs> oh, no, no. PS5, it's uh, still here. That was the longest game I've recorded, longest video. It went well over an hour, and I only have like 48 minutes of space available on my SD card. So it legitimately ran out, and there was like nothing I could do because I was still in the middle of the video. Nobody, literally no one. Jay, I may have counted my chickens before they roosted. Okay, I meant to say that, but I can't remember. I still can't remember what the actual saying is. Hold on. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Why did I say roost? I'm such an idiot. I, this is what happens when I'm focused on a game, man. I don't, I don't think clearly. Jay, this is the best game ever played. Also, Jay taking really dumb shots inside to lose him the game. Yeah, that final sequence, I think I missed the layup with uh, Dwayne Wade. Got the rebound with Dino and then got blocked. And that was really killer for me. Me looks at all the Galaxy Opals in Jay's lineup. Also, me sees the main playmaker, Dino. I have no idea how. I mean, I get that Dino Raj is a really loaded Amethyst card, but he was probably the best player on the floor for me in that game. I don't get it either. Russell Westbrook made that shot with his left hand to LMAO. I don't, I don't even want, maybe I'll show it again just so you can all laugh at my pain again. I can't believe, wow. Okay. I, I don't know how I came back in that game after he made a shot like that. I'm not really sure what, I, what was, <laughs> I'm done. I am done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, that's gonna do it for me tonight. This is a certified banger. Loved every second of it. Thank you all for the support. Even though I lost, I had so many people tweeting at me, commenting about the game. Like, that's what I'm looking for, man. I just wish I would have won. Jay at the start of the game, no excuses. Jay the whole game, making excuses. Well, you know, what What do you do when you're raging at 2K? Don't judge me. Yeah, I, I made a lot of excuses. What do you want from me? And after that, man, so many comments uh, talking about the vibes, a 3 OT game, talking about people here from the stream. I just, I wanted to give a shout out to you guys who support this series, man. I knew you would all love that video, even though it was tragic for me to record. So uh, thanks a lot for all that. Now let's move on to the things I've adjusted for this season. So for the season, I'm still planning on doing the same structure. We're keeping the same spin to win board. I've got to win eight out of 10 regular season games, then three playoff games, because it's really, I don't know, it's been really competitive and really fun. So if you guys want me to change that, make it more difficult or more easy, let me know. But for the spin to win board, I think we're keeping it the same. Now, as for our wheels, this is my spin to win wheel. Um, let me show you the actual list of items. This is everything I have on my win wheel. Now, I haven't changed too much, to be honest. I've added a few ideas that the comment section has said, but now would be your chance to really let me know. Before next video, I can add a bunch more options. Um, so comment away if you've got any good ideas. As well, our challenge wheel. I know lots of people like uh, suggesting challenges, so I've added some on here. Uh, play, let my wife play the first two minutes of the game. That's on here now. Whew, that would be uh, that would be tough. But again, always open to more suggestions. And of course, the L wheel, which um, yeah, shoot with Jalen LeCue. I still have it on there. Is there a different bronze I should choose in case I lose a game this uh, this season? Let me know. Now, as for our lineup, that is where we're going to spend the bulk of today's video. And last season, when I built my lineup, I screwed up. If you remember, I didn't take Ruby Mark L. Fultz. Everybody yelled at me. So today we're going to build our lineup the same way. I'm going to spin a wheel. I'm going to do first page auction house. But if I screw up on something, I'll be able to read it and change it before next episode from you guys. But just a heads up in case you were wondering, I am recording this video a day before when you see it. So this is still season four. I just unlocked Kawhi Leonard. I have no idea who the new reward is going to be that comes out tomorrow, which is today when you're watching it. So uh, yeah, just throwing that out there. But for our season three of spin to win, just like in season two, when I started with one good card, that good card, of course, was Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. I figured, why don't I build around a card? I just spent like two weeks straight grinding this game 
for and actually use him in this series. I think it's a good idea. I hope you guys too. And that man is, of course, Galaxy Opal Kawhi Leonard. So as mentioned last season, I built around Dwayne Wade, then made a random lineup. This season, I'm doing the same thing, but with Kawhi Leonard, and I'm really excited about it. Yesterday, in case you guys missed it, I did a debut gameplay with Kawhi Leonard. And uh, dude, this card is insane. When I first got Dwayne Wade last season, I wasn't even very good with him. This Kawhi, I'm legitimately awesome with already, which means, hey, we should be competitive right off the start here with spin to win. So I'm going to build a lineup around this man. I think that's a good idea. It gives me a chance to actually use this card. And I hope you guys agree. But as for building our actual lineup, as you can see here, I don't know why I showed you. You can see it on your screen. Uh, I have a wheel of card colors. Now we are once again going from gold up to ruby. I'll spin for each position. Then I'll search the auction house. First page, I can take any card. And this really randomizes our lineup, man. We could get a bunch of rubies or a bunch of golds, which would be bad. And without further ado, let's get it started, man. Again, you guys can let me know if I miss anybody obvious when we actually go to choose the player, but we are starting off something light. Okay. All right. It's going to stop on Sapphire. Yeah. I'm okay with that for a Sapphire starting point guard. Now, again, in case you don't know how we do this, this is a common thing on my channel. I'm going to search Sapphire, point guard, any of the first six cards that pop up on the auction house, I can choose from. And we are going to start with nothing very good. Wow. Okay. So there is this Markel Fultz, but I'm going to go on a limb and say 73 point. He's not good. Yeah. Uh, what's this Andre? What's this Andre Miller about? Six foot four. I don't mind that. He can't shoot threes. You know what? I th This is bad. Like this is going to be one of the first things I upgrade starting point guard. I'm going to take Andre Miller because he's the only card here. I mean, I guess Markel has badges. Oh, should I take Markel instead? You know what? You know what? I got to do it. I can't, I can't skip over Markel again. I know this is the trash Sapphire version, but maybe we get pack a punch right away. I can bring him up to Ruby. So sorry, Andre Miller. I'm taking Markel Fultz as my starting point guard. Now, next up, I'm going to play Kawhi Leonard at small forward. Even though he's technically a shooting guard, I find him to be a small forward. So this will be for our starting shooting guard. Are you kidding me. <laughs> We're going back to Sapphire. Okay, well, fine. Let's just move this ledger over to shooting guard and hopefully we get something that looks a bit nicer. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. This is between T-Mac or Jordan Clark. Oh, Jordan Clarkson has 19 gold badges. I'm sorry, T-Mac. I think we took you last season, but this is easily Jordan Clarkson. Now again, Kawhi starts at small forward. So now we move to our starting power forward. Come on, man. Give me a ruby. How about that? Oh my goodness. No, no chance. No chance. I was going to say third straight Sapphire. No, we get a ruby. The wheel is being very blessed to me right now. I'll admit it. I mean, these teams, even with like one ruby, I'm going to be facing some good teams and this is going to be tough, but at least we can get a card that actually can do something out here. And yep, yep. This is the one. This is the one. Ursan Ilyasova, pretty good card, but Kyle Anderson's one of the newest best best ruby budget beast. I'm not going to screw it up. I will take Kyle Anderson, y'all. And let's see if our luck can continue here starting center. Uh, just emerald or better. There's actually some pretty solid emerald big men. Um, oh no. Uh, yeah, well, we didn't quite get to emerald. Starting center is a gold. Wow, that's tough. Now, I guess maybe I can move this dude off to the bench. We'll see when we put the lineup together, but we need a gold center for our lineup. And are there really no like promo golds? Ah, no, they're all current day, which means none of them have good badge setups. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Brooke Lopez is the man because 72 three point shot. What about my Canadian brother, Dwight Powell? Nah, he can't shoot. Rashawn Holmes is having a really good season in real life. He can't shoot. Thomas Bryan actually has a 72 three point, but Brooke Lopez highest overall with a three-point shot. That, I guess that definitely isn't good. I, I'm not trying to say it's good, but it is what it is, man. This is the curse of how we build our spin to win lineup. Also why it's kind of fun. Anyways, backup point guard. Oh my gosh. Please get to Emerald. No, you're not going to. Gold again. Sheesh. We are going to have to play our starting Sapphire Markel Fultz like 20 minutes of each game. So hope he's ready for that. Gold point guard, ugly Sam Cassell. No offense, bro. You're just kind of funny looking. Um, <laughs> I just insulted him. He's the only card with badges. Again, this is kind of an unfortunately easy pick in my opinion. Okay, wheel. Be nice to me now. Be nice to me, wheel. Backup shooting guard. I've got Clarkson. I've got Kawhi. Actually, a point guard would have been more important. But Clarkson is point guard eligible. Anyway, stop. stop. I hate this. I hate this wheel so much. I hate it so much. What? 
I was this close, you no, know, like this close. Focus camera, it's not gonna focus. Anyways, I was very close to getting a Ruby shooting guard off the bench. We gotta go gold again. There's gonna be nothing here. Just, just garbage. Colin Sexton might be the best option. Uh, Danny Green, garbage. 78 three-point. Can Iguodala shoot at all? Iguodala's got a 75 three-point shot. Okay, and he's got an 81 perimeter deep. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't even have bronze clamps. Sheesh, man, that's so bad. Like how? Ah, uh, I can't, I can't have Sexton in there. He's too bad. I, I'm going to say Andre Godala. I don't know if there's a better gold option here. I don't think there is. As we move to our backup small forward on the bright side, I got lots of good pack-a-punch options because there's better versions of like every single card I've taken. Anyways, backup small forward, another Sapphire. I need like at least one more ruby wheel, like seriously. But at this point, I won't complain about a sapphire. Small forward, who do we get? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, this isn't the best refresh, but I personally really, really love Xavier McDaniel, and he's the only card with gold badges. These have been kind of easy selections. I don't think there's anything for you guys to yell at me about. And we have two spins left, two spots left in our lineup. Back up power forward. If I get like a Ruby, I hope it's a player I can also play at center because Brooke Lopez is trash and it is indeed a Ruby. Okay, we got a starting Ruby power forward too. This is, uh, I I've got to be smart here. I've got to think about like positions. Yeah, let's just see who our refresh gives us. Oh yeah, I should have realized that. <laughs> it's going to be all mostly the same cards as I refresh like five minutes later. But this Ursan Ilyasova card, really, really nice. I haven't used used his jumper on next gen, but 28 gold badges and he can play center. That will be actually huge for us. So I'll take Ursan. And let's round out our lineup, our 10th and final spot. We haven't gotten an emerald. Um, We've gotten every other color. Okay. And I might've just jinxed myself into getting an emerald center. Yes, indeed I did. Well, it's better than gold, y'all. And let's see, hopefully it's a, you know, a promo center, not a current day because I need, I need some badges on these cards. And oh, okay. There's only one option there. Thawne Maker. Emerald fun really not a good card he is absolutely not a good card but lob city finisher i guess that could come in handy none of these current day boys are very good so another easy one to me i, I think thon maker nobody can really disagree and there you have it y'all there there it is our spin to win season three starting lineup i gotta be honest it's not good i think this is worse than how we started last season but Kawhi leonard is definitely a better card than Dwayne wade so that's a bonus i really like kyle anderson he's a great ruby card urson Elliott. Sova, also a good Ruby card. Xavier McDaniel and Jordan Clarkson, both outdated now, but as far as Sapphires go, I'm okay with them. The rest of the team though, this Markel, Cassell, Iguodala, Thon, Brook, it's not good. Like we are going to have to start winning next episode, start completing challenges right away. Our team needs some help. We are starting by the way at an 84 overall. So we shouldn't get insane matchups unless Kawhi somehow messes with the algorithm. So we get an all Opal team. That would suck, but it is what it is. I can definitely do some stuff where I move Ursan into the starting lineup, but I think I'm going to keep Brooke there to start just because that's the way we drafted him. It seems fair, but as with everything in this video, let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section because I want to make sure this series is just as enjoyable for all you. So if you guys have ideas to make it better, like I'm all ears. And last thing, which jersey should we use for this season? Should I make custom jerseys? No, no, no. I don't really want to. These Clippers jerseys are kind of lame. So which team, which team would you guys like to see? What? Which jerseys are fire? I I'm curious. Let's see if we can get a consensus down below for which team we should use this season. But that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, again, I, I knew this was going to go really long, so I didn't want to squeeze a game in here as well. We'll start our season officially next episode, but this is our lineup. This is everything we're doing. It's the redemption season, man. I, I, I got to do it. I can't lose again before or in the NBA Finals. Not an option. Please let me know if you enjoyed. In addition to all the other comments I asked for, just let me know if you're enjoying these videos, man. You can do so also by dropping a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you're new. I'm Jay Canada. I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.